Traffickers see people as commodities and they exploit their vulnerabilities. You know, there's a lot of ways to die besides taking away your, your life. Mm -hmm. And one of them is being trafficked. It can happen to anybody, just like it happened to me. It's a hidden crime, it's a complex crime, and people aren't necessarily coming forward, raising their hands and saying, I'm a victim of human trafficking. Between 100 and 300,000 every year annually in, in the wow. United States are being trafficked. We just found out about a ring in Nebraska. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they exploit young graduates who want to go teach English in another yeah. country. People are recruited with the promises of fake jobs, no experience necessary, all expenses paid for. Asian activists recognized that large numbers of children were being sold into the sex trade mm -hmm. and that part of the demand for that market was coming from foreign sex tourists mm -hmm. traveling to Asia to exploit kids. And they reached out around the world to all the countries to say, your men are coming to our countries to abuse our kids, this has to stop. I, I got um, kidnapped and I was drugged and next time I know I woke, I woke up in the middle of the van with three men screaming, don't yell because now you belong to us and you're going to do whatever we tell you. So through the National Human Trafficking Hotline, the number of cases that I've seen and the diversity in those cases when you're talking about labor trafficking is immense. Um, our structural framework is centered around the four P's, prevention of human trafficking, protection of trafficking victims, prosecution of the traffickers, and partnership. And what we do is provide direct services to people who are coming out of a human trafficking situation. Job and life skills training and mm -hmm. empowerment to enable trafficking survivors to rebuild their lives. It has been very hard to get U.S. companies to be willing to join in, partner with us, acknowledge that it happens, and take some leadership around stopping it. So we are really looking for strong partners in the private sector that want to sort of join our ranks as modern abolitionists. And now we're connecting with Sabre to see if there might be synergies and ways that we can capitalize upon their program. Once you hear these awful things that are happening to, chil happening to children, how can you do something else? You can go to www.playersproject.org or you can call the National Human Trafficking Resource Center hotline at 1-888-3737-888. www.state.gov backslash j backslash tit. ecpatusa.org, ecpatusa.org. I don't think I have the words to express how important this is for me and for our work and for the global reach. Everyone has a role to play.